Hello and welcome to another video with me, Rufus Gazelle. We are here in Fordingbridge Cemetery in Hampshire to pay our respects to the late great Neil McCarthy. Neil McCarthy was born on the 26th of July 1932 in Lincoln, Lincolnshire. He was the son of a Sleaford dentist, Eugene Charles McCarthy and his mother, Beatrice Annie McCarthy. Neil McCarthy was educated at Stamford School before reading modern languages at Trinity College Dublin and trained as a Latin and French teacher. He could also speak fluent Greek. After his teacher training, he went on and appeared in repertory theatre in Oxford, the Edinburgh Festival Fringe and also the West End. He was an English actor best known for his dramatic physical appearance caused by acromegaly. Acromegaly is a disorder that results from excess growth hormone. The initial symptoms is typically enlargement of the hands and feet but there may also be an enlargement of the forehead, jaw and nose. I'm just looking around the cemetery right now just trying to find the headstone itself. I've got an image of what it looks like in my memory from a picture I saw earlier um, but it isn't a massive cemetery as you can see but I've been here about 20 minutes now and I'm just just struggling to find it but I will find it but knowing my luck it'll be somewhere quite close to the entrance somewhere quite simple they normally are but at the moment I've literally looked pretty much every square inch of this cemetery um, and I will venture over the other side in a minute and see if I can find Neil McCarthy's resting place over there but at the moment we're having no joy but I know he is here and he is at rest peacefully. McCarthy's film credits include memorable roles like as a Welsh soldier Private Thomas in the classic 1964 film Zulu starring alongside Michael Caine. He also appeared in 1967's Where Eagles Dare, playing Sergeant Jock McPherson alongside Clint Eastwood. McCarthy also played the villain Calibos in Clash of the Titans from 1981 and from the same year as a robber in Time Bandits playing alongside John Cleese who was Robin Hood. In 1973 he also appeared in Steptoe and Son Ride Again. His television credits also include Zed Cars, Dixon of Dot Green, Some Mothers Do Have Them and Doctor Who in the serials The Mind of Evil and Power of the Kroll. I was just wandering around the cemetery and enjoying the tranquility that the cemetery offers and I came across this headstone here and I just wanted to add this in just as a mark of respect. This is a war grave and I'm just going to read it out to you now as best I can. 925137 Aircraftman 2nd Class AJ Hobbs Royal Air Force 12th of October 1940 aged just 28 years old at rest. I just wanted to add that in. I know we're going off track slightly as we are here to pay our respects to Neil McCarthy but I just couldn't help but look around and notice that this headstone stood out amongst all the others just simply because it is a war grave. Now we're going to head back over the other side of the cemetery and see if we can locate Neil McCarthy's resting place and uh, hopefully we'll have some joy. Neil McCarthy was also a talented linguist and pianist and as we walk up from the main entrance here with the church behind me I finally located the resting place of Neil McCarthy. So here we have the final resting place of Neil McCarthy as we just take a closer look at the gravestone in loving memory of Eugene Neil McCarthy beloved son 
of Eugene Charles and Beatrice Annie McCarthy passed away the 5th of February 1985 aged 52 years can't quite see that but it just says it right at the bottom I've decided just to clean up the headstone a little bit um, just so the writing becomes a little bit more visible as you can see you can clearly see now that it says in loving memory of Eugene Neil McCarthy beloved son of Eugene Charles and Beatrice Annie McCarthy passed away 5th of February 1985 and now at the bottom you can see clearly aged 52 years I was only five years old when Neil McCarthy passed away on the 5th of February 1985 he died here in Fordingbridge in Hampshire from motor neuron disease only 52 years old too such a young age it really is I just want to say thank you Neil McCarthy for all the roles and the films that you made for us over your short life his grave is quite easy to find I wandered around the cemetery spending 20 minutes just looking around seeing if I can find it and actually it was here along this footpath the main entrance to Fordingbridge Cemetery itself the car park is just down there and as you walk up you will come across the beginning of this hedge and his grave is literally just behind it thank you so much in joining me today in visiting Neil McCarthy's grave just up there he's not an actor that is widely known but a lot of people would have seen him in such classics which I've already mentioned like Zulu, Where Eagles Dare, Time Bandits and such TV programs like Some Mothers Do Have Them, Step Toe and Son, Ride Again and not forgetting Doctor Who. Before I go I just want to say a massive thank you yet again for joining me today watching this video and sharing an interest in Neil McCarthy an actor like I've said already who's not widely known but you would have seen in many TV programs and films. I really do hope that you can join me again for another video very soon. But from here, at Fording Bridge Cemetery, I say, vlog over. You know, I had a calf like you once, back home in Mary Island. Mm. I'll get you some milk, eh? I'll make you strong. Would you like that, eh? What the hell do you think you're doing at a time like this? I was... Shut up! I was sad, you know, and sick. And a battle coming, see? Animals are very sensitive to noise, you know. Why worry about a calf? I thought I was tired of farming. No adventure in it. But when you look at it, why, this country's not a bit as good as Bala. In the lake there, not, not really green-like. And the soil. There's no moisture in it. Nothing to hold a man in his grave. 